guys, Saturn Looms here, and today I'm going to be filming a tutorial for this adorable Lumigurumi baby giraffe, which is designed by me, but I give full credits to Olympus the Loomer because it is inspired by his bigger giraffe, and I think they're adorable together. It's like a mama and a baby. So yeah, let's get right into the materials we'll be needing. So to make this cutie, you're going to be needing any type of hook. I'm using my rainbow loom hook. And also a latch hook would be helpful if you have one. If you don't, that's fine. You can do it with your normal hook, but I find this very helpful. And also you're going to need a helper hook for poking and stuffing, or maybe a pencil or something, and also something to hold all your little uh, body parts on while we're making the body. Um, a stitch marker or a C-clip or an S-clip or whatever you have. And then for the eyes, I'm going to be using two six millimeter safety eyes, no backings. If you don't have safety eyes, you can use beads, you can use bands. Yeah. So, oh. I almost forgot the most important part. You're going to be needing bands. So you're gonna want a darker color for the spots. Today I'm going to be using turquoise. I do recommend jelly for this design just because if, um, when you're attaching all the things, when you pull slip knots, the jelly, when you, sometimes when you stretch out the opaque bands too much, it, you can sometimes see it. And I personally like the cleaner look of the jelly. And then I have smoothie mint bands for the main body color. And I don't have a band count. It's kind of hard because of the spots because I don't really have an exact placement, but have a decent amount of both, more of the body color. And then you're also going to want stuffing. I have my little, <laughs> not little, big container of polyfill. And that is all you'll be needing to make this super cute giraffe. So now let's get started on making this guy. All right, so we're going to be starting by making some of the head features. We're going to um, make the horns and the ears, which are basically the same thing, but they are a little bit different. So you're going to want both of your colors for this. So let me get out a little bit of this this you won't need that much but that's okay also my cats are all over the place right now so sorry if you hear them in the background so we're going to start by making the ears so what you're going to want to do is zoom in take one teal band around or your darker color around your hook and Wrap it around your hook four times, which will create five loops. So one, two, three, four, like that. And you can do four times. I just think that, oh my gosh, I can't. <clears throat> sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I have a new setup and my ring light is a little bit wobbly. Still getting used to it. So you can do four times, but I think that five times just gives it a better look. Okay. And now we're going to take one of our lighter colors, double it, and then pull the five loops on. Like that. Reclaim. Make sure it's centered, and then pull one of your lighter colored bands through, like that. And that's your ear, and you're going to want to make two. Set those aside. And now you're going to want to make your um, horns. <sighs> Excuse me. And this is where, if you have a latch hook, it would be helpful. But if you don't, that's fine. So you're going to want to take two of your dark colored bands, wrap them around your hook 
three times. One, two. Oh, I didn't even show that. Ah, I need to stay in frame. Okay. So one, two, three. And if you have a latch hook, put it down here. And then you're gonna take a band, light color band, double it, and pull it through. Center that. And then you're going to wanna to do that same thing again. So you're gonna to wanna to double a band. through oh my god my cats so sorry about the background noises mm, did I wrap this five times no okay there we go like so and then pull one band through everything and now you have two antlers or horns. <laughs> so you're going to want to make two and then come back to me when you're done. And the last thing we need to make in advance is the legs. Oh, and the tail. But that's next. <laughs> so I've already made three legs. You're going to want to make four. I'll make one with you and then you can go off camera and make another one. The legs are pretty easy, and for this, you are going to want to start adding spots. I'll just be adding them in random places. So you're going to want to start with a magic ring of five stitches. And if you don't know what a magic ring is, then I'll show you. So you're going to want to take a band and wrap it around your hook twice, creating three loops. And then pull one band through like this. Oh my god, my cat. He's over there trying to get into drawers. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. If you've watched my tutorials before, you know that my cats are always making noises. <laughs> and then you're gonna pull this back band over this front band. Like that. Don't pull tight. And then put your hook back into the magic ring. or into the cat band, not magic ring, or making the magic ring. And then pull one band through just the cat band, reclaim, and pull the back two over the front two loops. And you want to repeat that three more times so that we have a magic ring of five. more and I will show you how to count your stitches so starting with the one on your hook one two three four and five this one right here is not a stitch so don't count that and now you're going to want to get your stitch marker put to the band that's on your hook should fix the wobbling and now that you have your magic ring of five we're going to do a half row around to create this look and my nails are so crusty it's okay <laughs> we're here for the tutorial oh my god my cats okay so for the half row you're only going to go into the inside loop and to do the color change, you're going to want your light color, pull it through everything on your hook, and slide. And you're going to do that all the way around, but you don't have to do the color change unless you're doing a color change. <laughs> so we're just doing normal stitches. Like this. all the way around. And 
No. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now you can put your C-clip back onto the band that's on your hook once you've gone all the way around. And now we're going to do three single rows around, but we're also going to be adding spots. So, yeah, I think I'll do one row with you guys and then you can do the other two on, you, on your own because I don't want to make this tutorial super long. Ugh, the wobbling. So I'm just adding spots wherever. Oh, my lord. So we're just doing single rows around, adding spots wherever. I wouldn't suggest adding them in the half row though. That's just my cat knocking everything over. So it's just single stitches all the way around going through both loops. That's what a single stitch is. Oh my gosh. Like this, that. Oh, it fell off. Don't worry, I promise it gets more exciting when we're actually doing the body. This is just the boring legs and stuff. So that's just a single row. So you're going to be do blah, blah, blah. you're going to do two more rounds of just single crochet around. Oh my gosh, I am making no sense today. I am so sorry. And you can add spots wherever you'd like and come back to me when you're done with your two rows. Okay, I am back guys. And I'm sorry that that segment or segment, that's what it's called, was a little bit crazy because my cats were being super annoying but they're gone now. So hopefully the rest of the tutorial will be smooth. So I did my two rows, but before you get to the end of your second row, the stitch with the C-clip, you're going to take a, a light colored band and slide it through everything and slip knot. And then you can remove your stitch mark. And now you have all your legs. Or, I have all my legs. So you're going to want to pause the video again. Excuse me. And make two, three more legs. And come back to me when you're done. Okay, I'm going to see that now. Okay. Now we're going to make the tail real quick. Which is not hard. Where's my tail? Okay. So we're going to take two bands and wrap them around your hook once, like this, and pull through one of your dark colored band doubled through like this. Center that. And then you're going to pull five doubled yellow bands. I mean, not yellow, your lighter color. In my pattern, I wrote yellow because giraffe body colors are usually yellow. So. That's three. Four. And five. And just stretch it out a little bit. And then you're going to take one band and th pull that through everything. And now you have your tail. And now we can get into the more exciting part, which is the head, and then the body, and then we connect, or I mean, then we do the neck, and then we connect the head to the neck and the everything. It all, it all comes together. So for the head, 
we're going to be doing a magic ring of six in your darker color. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to prevent the wobbling of my ring light. Okay, so I already showed you guys how to make a magic ring. It's the same thing, but this time it's six stitches instead of five. And the head has zero spots, so we're good. Sometimes the jelly, certain types of jelly bands can be slippery. Now I feel like my ring light is too dark. This is gonna be a crappy tutorial. One, two, three, four, five. Just all the lighting changes and everything is going to be annoying to some people, I know it. I'll probably still put the path in the description, even though there's no spot placement. Six. Now we're going to be doing a single and an increase. If you don't know what an increase, uh, increase is, I will show you. So we're gonna do one single stitch, still in your dark color. And then in the next stitch, we're going to be doing an increase which is putting two bands in the same stitch. So I just did one single, and now we're gonna go back into the same stitch and do another one. Like that. And now we're going to repeat that pattern, single increase all the way around. that and now you should have nine stitches around so let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine i was not even paying for that one two three four five six seven eight nine and now we're going to be doing three rows of your lighter color so i will do a few of the stitches on the first row with you and then you can go off camera and do the other the rest of this first row and the other two so first we're just going to do our color change and then just singles for three rows So I'm going to go off camera and finish my other two rows and finish this row off. So you guys can just pause the video and finish it and meet me back when you are done. All right, you guys. So I finished my three rows on the head. It should be looking something like this. And now we are going to stuff the head because after this we decrease everything and then we close it off and add all the features. It's very little, you don't need much stuffing. Ta-da! And now we're going to decrease everything. If you don't know what a decrease is, I'll show you. So you're gonna take the front part of the first loop in the back part of the next loop and pull a band through that and make a normal stitch. Just 
just like that, all the way around. And then once you get to the C clip, what I like to do, well, first I'm gonna take it out because I don't, you don't need it anymore. Push the stuffing in. What I like to do is take a band and slip knot it on, and then go through the tops of all the stitches. Probably didn't see what I just did. I just like to do this to close up the top. but you do whatever you want to close it up. Like that, and then just pull it nice and tight and tuck in the tail. Why my tail is so long. Oh my god, I, I need to get better at being in frame. I'm so sorry guys, but this is not that interesting. I'm just tucking in tails. Where's my little helper thing? Ugh, I don't know where it went. So, I'm just going to I was just <laughs> using the safety eye to push the stuffing in okay choose which side looks best that is way too bright I don't know. I'm so sorry, guys. And then you're just gonna wanna stick your eyes in. Why did I put them on this one? This head looks very small. There we go. That looks fine. And now we're going to attach all of the parts. So I just like to slip knot them in. These are the ears. The ears go on the sides and then the horns go on the head, on, on the top of the head. Ooh, that ear is off. It's fine. And then tie the horns in. I just go through some stitches at the top. Make sure you don't grab any other bands in the process. Don't worry, it may look a little bit funky, but once you um, tuck in all the tails and stuff, it looks better. Oh, 
Ugh. I'm going to go off camera and tuck in all the tails. I'll be back when I'm done. <laughs> Alright you guys, so I'm very tired right now, so I'm going to just try to go through the rest of this tutorial. But I fixed up the head. <laughs> I fixed up the head and it looks good. I just tucked in the tails and I kind of pulled some of the things to like one side so it looks good I like it so now we have our head our tail and our four legs and now all there is left to do is make the body and then attach everything and undo the neck and then we're done so let's get started on making the body Okay, so I just turned the bedroom light on, or the room that I'm in light on, um, and I turned my ring light all the way up, and I think that it makes the lighting look a lot better. So, now we can get started on the body. So, again, I just add spots wherever I feel like it, so you can put them in the same, same spots as me, or, <laughs> same spots, um, or you can put them wherever you want. So it starts with a magic ring of five. So I've already showed you how to do a magic ring multiple times, so I can go a little bit quicker. Let me just try to move. Yeah, that's better. So now I have one, two, three, four stitches, and one more. I'm doing my whole magic ring in my light color, and then in, during the second row, I'm going to start putting spots. So now we're going to do an increase around. So we're going to be doing an increase in every single stitch. And I'm going to start adding my spots in this next stitch. Okay, I just finished my increase around. You should have 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to be doing single increase around. So let me just try to. I'll be right back. Okay, I hope that's easier to see. Probably not, but it's easier for me to see through the camera. So now we're going to be doing single increase around and adding spots. So just to break some of the silence, um, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for 300 some subscribers. I think I have like 328, I think. I don't know. Last time I checked, that's what I was at. 
and I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying my videos. I know I have, this is like the first time I've uploaded in like a month, but I've been super, super busy. So I haven't had like any time to film. And I went on vacation a few days ago, or actually yesterday I got home. So I'm like, well, let's try to do something productive today. And it's also when I'm filming this, it is New Year's Eve. And I think it will be posted on New Year's Day due to um, editing. And I also need to take a thumbnail, but it's too dark outside right now to do that. So we'll do that in the morning. So now that you have done your single increase around, you should have 15 stitches. I'm not gonna count because um, I know I have 15 and I'm just kind of lazy. But now we're going to be doing two rows around normal. Excuse me. And I'm going to do these off camera just to save filming time because I don't want this tutorial to be super, super long. And you can add spots wherever you want. And yeah. So meet me back when you're done with your two normal rows around. All right, you guys. So I finished my two rows around. And now we're going to be doing a single and a decrease pattern all the way around. Just taking my bags and putting them in the container. I'm just easy to grab them. So I already showed you guys how to do a decrease on the head. And I do not add spots after I finish the two rows. Just because this is the bottom, you're not going to really be able to see it. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. I know it's a little bit bad quality just because of all the lighting changes and I'm sure it's gonna be a little bit echoey because of the room I'm in, it's very big. Usually I film in my bedroom, but it's not available right now. And after you finished a round, you should have 10 stitches. I'm not gonna count because I'm lazy. And I know I have 10. And now we're going to stuff. Probably don't need that much. Don't need much stuffing for this design. Because we don't stuff the neck and we don't stuff the head. I mean, the legs, not the head. You do stuff the head. And now we're just going to do decrease around and then close up. I'm going to be doing my closing technique.
You don't see anything right now because I'm just tucking in the tail. Nothing interesting. So here is my little body. I really like the spot placement on this one. So now we're going to attach the legs. Personally, it's my least favorite part just because it's kind of repetitive because you have to do it four times. But you're only going to need your main body color. Excuse me. If you have your own technique for attaching, go for it. But I'm just going to be sewing them on. First, you just want to figure out where you want to have the front of your head. I think this is where I want it to be. So this is going to be boom, 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 boom. So I'm just going to grab a stitch. And then I just sew around. Sewing can sometimes be kind of annoying now, to be honest. didn't turn out too bad so I'll do one more on camera and then I'm going to attach the other two off camera just because it's kind of hard to do on camera you probably could see that I was very bad at staying in frame because I'm just trying to focus on my sewing So there are my front two legs. And I'm going to go off camera to do the other two just because it's kind of hard attaching on camera. But I hope you guys are able to attach it in a way that you are good at. I do not, I'm going to put it in the description, this is not a good beginner design. Just because of all the attaching basically. So... I'm going to go off camera and attach the back two legs and come back to you when you're done. Alright you guys. Oh, sorry, you can see my busted canvas for my backboard. Um, I finished attaching the legs and I have them rubber band together just to keep them out of the way while I am doing the neck. Because the neck can kind of get, or the legs can kind of get in the way when we're doing the neck. I really wish I could find where I put that helper hook because my tails are all sticking out. So I'm going to be doing my neck right here. So you're going to want to stitch, let me get my pattern, six on the body 
So I'm going to start right here. And we're just going to stitch around six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are my six stitches. And now I'm just going to be doing four single rows around the neck. Sorry. So I'm going to do them off camera just because I don't want this tutorial to be super long, even though it probably already is. I'm guessing it's already like 50 minutes. But um, so just do single stitches, adding spots wherever you want. Just four single rows so i will meet you back when you're done and then we can attach the head and the tail and we can be done all right you guys so i actually got it wrong you're actually supposed to do five rows on the neck not a big deal so if you did four just do an extra row and then you'll be good and what i like to do is just well if you basically can make the neck as long as you want but i only want i I don't like to make mine super, super long, so I'm only gonna do um, five rows. You could do four rows, but I thought that was a little bit too short. And now we're just going to sew the head on. Just kinda put it wherever. It can take a few tries to get this. Actually, I'm going to undo this slip knot. that and then just keep on going around and then positioning it and let your hook guide you I'm very bad at explaining things. Ah, me almost knocking my camera over. I know I'm very bad at explaining things. I'm aware. So don't bomb the comments with it. And I also know that I'm bad at staying in frame. So please don't bomb the comments with that. Because that else. <laughs> I know that my videos are not the best, but I'm slowly working towards making them better. So there's the head. Sew it onto the body. It's not perfect, but you can adjust it. Tuck those tails in. That's what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything. See that, and now I'm just going to undo the rubber band at the bottom and the tail, and just tie it in, pick a place on the butt, <laughs> and just slip knot it. And hide the tail. Alright you guys, so this tutorial is finally done. We're done making this baby giraffe. He's adorable. I'm sure your guys' are cuter though. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm very sorry about all the flaws. It's just something that's um, hard for me because, well, 
I'm trying to get better at filming videos, basically. It's still pretty new to me. And I also haven't done this in a while. So, I hope your guys' giraffes come out good. And thank you to Olympus de Loomer, my loom bro, for letting me film this tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!